HD here, and today I'm going to be debating this newcomer on my channel, The Knight of Justice. Say hi. Hey there. What's up? What's up, guys? Um, yeah. His YouTube channel will be in the description. Make sure to go subscribe to make sure to go subscribe to him. Oof, I can't get out my words out of my mouth. And yeah, make sure to do that. <laughs> We're, oh yeah, we're gonna be debating um, Goku, Battle of Gods, versus Tyrant from the Marvel comics. So yeah. So, so um, do you want to go first or will you go first? I'd like it if you went first, because after all, you're the guest. All right, all right. So Tyrant, he's really easy to scale. You can basically scale him to um, multi-galaxy, to, to universal, but you can't scale him higher via uh, his feats. Um, so we know. Um, Tyrant will be scaled to the Skyfighter tiers such as Odin, Mephisto, and um, Galactus. And um, when you're in the Skyfighter tier, you can usually range from multi galaxy to possibly multi universal or multiversal. So, like with Odin, he was able to fight against um, Surtur, who was able to shape in their fight, they were able to shape the nine realms. And these realms could be depicted as infinite in size, well, not infinite in size, or like universe size. So Odin basically showed like universe size on um, pocket dimensions. So off that feat, he's like multi-universal. And like during another fight when he fought against Seth, not Seth the programmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fighting Seth the programmer. But um True debater here. in his battle with Seth, they were destroying galaxies and they were tearing at the fabric of the Marvel universe. And Odin has shown to be able to fight against Galactus, and Galactus literally cucked him down like no diff. That whole fight was mostly like mind hacks. Um, Odin made um, Galactus think he was Gallon again, and Galactus made Odin think he was younger, and Galactus eventually prevailed. And you can even say that Galactus scales above Odin, going off his feats when he fought against the Celestials. And the Celestials have been able to um, cut down Skyfighters like no diff. So like when um, Odin had the um, destroyer armor, he came like packing with his like his guns and shit, his sword, yeah. and the Celestials like um, no diffed him, <laughs> like no diffed him. And you yeah. have Galactus, a well-fed Galactus, able to fight against Celestials and defeat them, but when they were able to combine, they cut them down. So Galactus will be in those um, low multiversal tiers, and the Skyfighters will range to like. Um, multi galaxy universal. So, with Tyrant, for what he scales, right, he was able to not only fight on par with Galactus, but nearly defeat him. Yeah. Yeah, huh? And this is mostly due to Galactus being dumb and like giving him like a good proportion of the power cosmic. Usually, Galactus gives like a small, infinitesimal part of the power cosmic to like his heroes as a Silver Surfer, Tyrant, not, not Tyrant, um, Terrax, and um, Nova. And because of this insane boost, um, Tyrant was able to um, fight on par with Galactus and almost defeat him. Their fight was going was destroying galaxies and it was going to eventually destroy the Marvel Universe. So going off this feat, um, you could easily scale Tyrant to um, multi-galaxy universal. But if you want to go off the part with um, Galactus, you can say he's multi-universal because of his feat. Yeah, alright. So um, Goku clearly went ahead, I'm pretty sure. Most of us here have at least watched the movie Battle of Gods or watched the anime interpretation of it. But Goku, while he was up against Beerus in his Battle of God in his Super Saiyan God form, he was in those three punches. He was about to destroy the universe. So right there, you can say, hey, he's at least universal, maybe universal plus to multiversal. If you want to highball him, and since it's like since it's Battle of God, you don't really have much. If you go back to the Boo arc, where it was. I was talking about how Wu was about to destroy the galaxy slash universe. It's like, hey, well, if they're already this tier fighters, along with the Super Saiyan God, he's definitely got to be multiversal, right? I mean, not multiversal, universal, right? And well, after he had been universal in his God, Super Saiyan God form, he had then, probably not absorbed, but like, gotten most of his strength into his base form, and then he could stack that on with Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3, which would then make him probably multi universal. So, in the strength report department, I guess Tyra and Goku would be somewhere near the same, so there's that. Um, yeah, also, for speed, because I like to talk about that, see if they can blitz people. So, in the anime interpretation of Battle of Gods, while Whis was out to get food, 
Beerus was like, hey, you're taking too long. Only two minutes, by the way. So he travels from his realm, which is outside of the, the Dragon Ball Z galaxy. Not Dragon Ball Z galaxy, Dragon Ball Z universe. And that while he's traveling, he th it takes him like around like 20 seconds at most. So this would mean he was probably moving 3.1 times 10 to the 32nd miles per hour, which is 1.04 septillion times the speed of light. And Goku, who was, you know, he, while he was, that, that was Beerus and suppressed by the way. So Goku is like practically unsuppressed while he's going against the Beerus in, this, in his Super Saiyan God form. So clearly, he's probably going to be like, maybe, let's say around like, a decatillion, that's not a word. Ten, 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 you could say one you could say it's um billions trillion times faster than the speed of light, but if you want to go for safety, yeah, like, you could say billions times the speed of light. Dude, just cut out. You could say he's like um billions times the speed of light, massive faster than light just for safety. But if you want to like go up there, you could say trillions of times. Mm. Well, I mean, through the calcs of um, Beerus traveling from his realm to where. At least was in that part. It was somewhere around a trillion times, so I guess it'd be more high ball to quintillion to from quintillion to yeah. That would be a, that would be a high ball. Yeah. So um, with so, Tyrant, um, his speed is pretty simple. Um, he was able to fight on par with Silver Surfer and utterly cut him down. And um, Bay Ray Bill, Bay Ray Bill has been shown to fly through multiple star systems in an instant. You can easily clock that at like billions of trillions times the speed of light. Um, but for safety, we're just going to say billions. And Silver Surfer, he's been able to like transfer the trans uh, trans trans surf the surf the space waves. <laughs> My bad, I couldn't get that word out. He was able to fly across the so the spurt the sort damn the space waves in like say five to like um to like five minutes from galaxy to galaxy. And like less than a conversation, he was able to like travel from Earth to Galactus in less than a few seconds. He's able to travel across the galaxy to universes from less than five minutes. Um, he has a measurable speed, and for those who don't know, um, a measurable speed can be like um, linear time has no jurisdiction over you, or you can just time travel. And Silver Surfer has shown many times he's able to time travel. And so has Thor, and they are equal, they're equally in terms of speed. So going off of that, um, Tyrant would have a measurable speed, combat speed, and reaction speed. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So, I mean, but like, since it's like, how would I say this? Since it's much more harder to like scale Dragon Ball speed to these, that's all. They don't really play like, like, can give you a speed or anything. It's just about your key and your power level. Hey, if it's this high and faster than something. So I mean, yes, we can say Tyrant is faster than Goku. Yeah. I mean, you you would have to say he is faster than Goku because Goku doesn't yeah. reach like a measurable speed until like later on in Super, like during like um, yeah, like a tournament hour. Yeah, or like Universe Six art. Yeah. And um, with the a whole macrocosm and like Goku being like that tier, a multiversal. Um, the best you could say he is universal or um. Universal Plus, the best you could say that, because um, it was stated by the Sakai's that their punches were going to destroy like the whole entire universe, and you have like many realms within Dragon Ball, like Heaven, Hell. So you could probably, and we don't know the size of these realms within Dragon Ball. Yeah, we only know like the universe, the living universe, is, like roughly around the same as ours. That's the only one we know. So like the best you could say like he's like universal, but if you really want to highball him, he's like universal plus. Well, I mean, I'd say a really highball him would be also most likely multi. -universal. Yeah, multi, so, multi. Would be good. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. I mean, like so, there are abilities yeah. that Goku probably could use against Tyrant, but um, yeah, I don't believe like okay, go into Goku's ability. Um, Goku's technique C, of course, has Kamehameha, he has Solar Flare, he has the Spirit Bomb, Evil Containment Wave, I doubt he'll use that, but if you want to, there's that. He can, it, it's debatable, but he can regenerate some semi-fast, um, he is, 
his key blast, he has all those stuff. And you can't really think of much more. Oh, he can read mind, so he's, he can also he auto can tell, talk to people to tell up a sword. Telepathically. Telepathy. Like Telepathy. Yeah, there we go. And he can also, like, move things with his mind, as this was stated in early Dragon Ball. I mean, they haven't done this recently, but it's still possible for him to do. So if he wanted to do that, he could do that. What are Tyrant's abilities? Because as far as I've seen, he only has, like, like shooting lasers and stuff. Uh, Tyrant's abilities, um, hold on a second, I have a scan. So, Tyrant's ability, he basically has, like, energy manipulation, energy projections, energy absorption. He, had, he can control um, his technology manipulation, he can manipulate technology. And um, his drones were able to, like, subdue multi sources and beings to the Silver Surfer and Baby Bill and Gladiator. And, um, he has super strength, speed, or measurable speed. He has a high intellect. And he's also, um, he can use, um, force fields, I believe. And he has regeneration. Alright, yeah. So, I'm pretty sure Goku does, like, in one of the movies he did Force Field, but that's not really, um, part of the main timeline. It's, like, for some Yeah, well, you just have to, you, you have to go with Super, because, like, in Battle of God, yeah. it wasn't stated anything, like, like, they were just destroying the universe or shit like that. Uh, but, with, um, Goku's Key Blast and stuff, I don't believe that it will work on Tyrant, because he can just manipulate the energy, or absorb it. I mean, yeah, but... Plus, he yeah, does... I, I doubt like, he'd use it that much, because, I mean, after Goku realized that, um, what's his name? Android 19 or 20 was absorbing energy, he ended up resorting to hand-to-hand -hand combat, I'm pretty sure, so... You'll understand that part real quick. And with, um, Tyrant does have him at speed, too. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's somewhat possible. Um... Well, what was something um, Goku could do? Um, it's the solar flare. Does um, Tyrant rely on his eyesight much? Or can he like sense things like Goku can? Yeah. He has cosmic awareness. Alright, so that so solar flare would be too much of a problem for him. No, it, no, cosmic awareness basically is just like sensing key, but better. <laughs> it's a lot better. Um, for like Silver Surfer, for example, his, with his power cosmic, he can just like um, see into the future. He can sense people from other galaxies and other realms. And like those who have the power cosmic does have the um, cosmic awareness. So they're able to do this. Not to like see the future, because, um, well, they can see the future, but not to a degree that Silver Surfer can. But they can sense like energy from different realms or um, different parts of the universe. Yeah, alright. So, um, I mean, something Goku, I feel like there's something Goku can do too. Oh yeah, um, Goku's strategies when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat is Goku has been taught by multiple different martial artists from Master Roshi to Grandpa Gohan to um, Mr. Popo, Kami, and a whole bunch of other people, King Kai. So he could use all those stuff that he's learned and probably outclass some but like you also but you also gotta combat. think about this too right like those styles that goku has used they have been negged by people like stronger than him or relative to him like frieza uh cell boo um beerus yeah but uh, this isn't like goku you only, in like dragon ball you only have to be like twice as strong or like 50 percent as strong as somebody to be to absolutely neg them so it's like if you were to like i don't know like have this um huge brute that is like, let's say he can lift a ton, right? Somebody who can at least lift one and a half ton, which in Dragon Ball terms, should be able to destroy the kid that can lift a ton. So, so not, so in Dragon Ball, it's more so, sometimes hand to hand, like their combat strategies are better. So like when Goku was fighting Kefla, since he, since Kefla is more of a, I mean, Kalifla, not Kefla. Since Kalifla was more of a brute than Goku because Goku had learned martial arts and stuff. This is like in the future part, but like it's like an example. Like since uh, even though it's about God's Goku, about God's Goku, it still was taught martial arts by other people. So even though it's an example, he was still able to outclass Kalifla just because he also had the fighting style as well as the strength instead of just being a brute like Kalifla was. So. 
sometimes technique does matter and not it's not just um pure strength but that can be the case but if the person has the durability to take those attacks and the speed to like dodge them it wouldn't really matter in that case sometimes yeah like since uh, i'd say tyrant and goku are like at least the same if not relative in strength but i do understand that tyrant was definitely faster than goku battle of god's goku because well tyrant has you know gone up and cuffed down silver surfer and silver surfer like one of his like Low, no, I'd say like mid feet is that he had traveled across the universe as a race against I forgot. But when he did that, that was like, let's that'd be like 3.8 billion times faster than the speed of light, which is pretty large, and that's already the same amount as Goku's speed was compared to how um, what's his name Beerus had traveled to that galaxy. The, I mean, that galaxy, that planet that was like. Billions of billions of light years—not billions, like millions of light years away from him. So, I mean, yeah, that's comparable to strength. And then Tyrant did cut down on Silver Surfer. But if you were to take like a high ball to Goku and like a mid to low ball to Tyrant, I feel like Goku would take it. But then, no, the low ball Tyrant, high ball Goku, Goku would take it. But then, mid Tyrant would definitely like if we're going with like Tyrant. consistently, like Tyrant would be in those multiversal tiers. But like with a low ball, it is a bit even. But since this is more consistent, I mean, Tyrant does have the attack potency and the durability plus the speed. I feel like like definitely tournament of power Goku would definitely like, win against Tyrant. Right? Oh, most power definitely, Goku. most definitely, tournament of power would win yeah. against Tyrant. I mean, after all, tournament of power, they just, just, they just like, we're like, you know what? We're not gonna care about how. This sort of skill is just gonna be, hey, OPness, and I'll all of a sudden, so yeah, it's practically what happened there. It's definitely, like, Master Ultra Instinct Goku destroys Tyrant, but, like, there's other things that can happen. <laughs> like, um, so, yeah. most people don't, like, understand, like, when it comes to, like, comics, they would scale differently from, like, anime and stuff. And the feats they've shown, they, like, with DC, DC, would shit stomp Dragon Ball Super. So would Marvel. Like, um, OK Thanos, he would like walk through Mar like walk through Super like no diff. Yeah, but like other characters like Tyrant would be easily able to do that. Because like well like in the like most people who are like watching the Marvel movies would be like, oh psh, so Thanos would be would be destroyed by Goku. But like if you read the comics, like these characters are Overpowered as a flop, like honestly. Yeah, like people were like, like spazzing out when um Thor got was getting negged by that star, and I said, and I was like, you know that Thor has been able to like talk in stars, right? <laughs> yeah, like the the comics are like way overpowered compared to the movie counterparts. Like for like movie counterparts, I feel like a lot of anime will be able to like neg. Like, um, what the MCU is kind of basing it off the Ultimate Universe. The Ultimate Universe is more grounded than, like, the regular 6 universe. Imagine if they, like, I know this is, like, going way off rails of what we were originally talking about, but imagine if they brought somebody, like, Sentry and the Void into the MCU. Like, they kept their original powers. It'd be OP. Jesus. Thanos would just die in, in the MCU compared to if they actually Boy, brought um, Silver Surfer in the MCU, Woo. yeah, like honestly, so many people would get nagged. But I really do want to see somebody like Galactus or Eternity in the MCU. Um, Eternity has been mentioned in the MCU. Yeah. Um, Galactus, that is a different story. I don't know how they're going to do Galactus in the next movie. But there's like a lot of things they could do in the next movie. They can they could introduce a Sentry, but it would have to nerf him. Yeah, by a lot. So anyways, yeah, um, I think Tyrant, like, the, the like, actual, like, not low-ball Tyrant would take this match, but if we were to do low-ball Tyrant, high-ball Goku, I'd, I'd say it's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. Like, it could go either way, honestly. I could see some instances yeah. where Goku can win, uh, Tyrant can win. It's pretty even on the part of that. 
Yeah. It also depends on their, how they're going into the fight. Because the way Tyrant fights is like, hey, I'm gonna kill you. But Goku's more like, hey, if you're good, or like, hey, if you're strong, I'll keep you around. You don't have to die. It's like... Yeah, like, Tyron is very arrogant in his abilities. Goku could use that to his advantage. Yeah. I, yeah, Goku has done that a lot. Like, with Frieza, he's definitely used somebody's arrogance to get some, so... That's well, a factor that Goku. So basically, consistently, Tyrant would win, but if we're going with a low ball, I can, I can see Goku taking it. Yeah. There's also, like, if Goku gets so lucky, like, it depends on how the fight starts, too. Like, does Goku know everything about Tyrant? Is Tyrant more versed than Goku? Is, like, it, it's honestly a lot of factors that could see, make who wins. But, like, honestly, I feel like 9 out of 10 times Tyrant will win, and then there'd be that one time that Goku's like, hey, I, I can go this victory. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Yeah. I like how this is supposed to be a debate, but I'm completely siding with you. I mean, like I was, it's, it's fine. Like <laughs> I have these multiple times with people sometimes when I do the debate. Like I like this. I like um, agree with their points more. They agree with my points. Yeah. <laughs> I even like down. Like I was going point. through, like I was going through Tyrant stuff, and I was like, well, uh, I don't really know how well um, Battle of Gods can fare against this. So yeah, <laughs> that was the thing. So anyways, I'm glad you hit me up. This is actually pretty fun. I really didn't have much to do. Like to be honest, I really want I want to do um Jiren versus um I think it was Parallax, but then I thought no, nah, that's not a fair fight. <laughs> yeah. So man, uh, I guess the victor is the Knight of Justice. So yeah, I mean, that, the victor goes to yeah, Tyrant. I, I would say it's a mid diff. Well. I don't yeah, hi diff if you wanna go with that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's we don't I think we elaborated well enough on how Tyrant would have beat Goku. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoy it. So check out the Night of Justice. His link his uh, YouTube link will be in the description description. Do you unplug anything else? Uh yes, I will be having um a versus battle coming soon on my channel. And there will be a Black Panther video also. So check it out. Nice. My Panther is one of my favorites. So yeah, that'd be nice. So um yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Skull and Gamer signing out. Peace. See ya.